So, soft girl me forgot to do an intro, so this will have to do. This is going to be a video showing you the Liverpool one, John Lewis, and all the amazing Christmas stuff they currently have in. So, let's go and take a look, you guys. So, here it is, the John Lewis Christmas Spectacular, what we've all been waiting for. So, this first tree is called Impressionism, although I've kind of renamed all the trees, and I think it's quite a modern kind of vibe, so... I don't know where they're getting these names from, but it's kind of like White Christmas with a hint of purple. Don't know what you call that, but that's it. So as you can see, I've seen loads of gorgeous baubles. They had this amazing one. It had like blossoms inside. It was gorgeous. I think it was like £6. And then they had other like purple elemented ones as well. And then behind was all like the white snowy kind of vibe that he's with like glitter in and I absolutely loved every single one as you can see. Um they also had these which I actually found in the range for a pound. So bit of a rip-off and a bit spenny some of them, but overall they are gorgeous. I loved that one as well. The trees on that was fab. And they also had one with feathers in, which I thought was so delicate and just so pretty. Um I also seen that the tree itself was called Cotswold Snowy, so they actually sell the trees as well, which are all gorgeous and definitely value for money. They had this little cute stand as well with little home accessories to sort of blend it from your tree. They had the fabulous little silvery sequiny mushrooms, which were so unique, I don't think I've seen them before. Obviously, they had the gonks. And then round here, there was more accessories, including this fabulous, like, woodlandy star, which I thought was gorgeous. Silver apples, very snow white, well, modern snow white. They had little berries, angels. So next was quite a loud tree. It was called the Bloomsbury. It was quite a vintage, oldie-worldie kind of style. They had, like, an old lamp and a typewriter, which I thought was so cute. I wish they were more modern, because I'd make, like, an interior design tree or something like that. Look at that chair, that's gorge. But yeah, it was so bright and quirky and I absolutely loved it. So behind it, they have the baubles and I love the way they've merged it where they show you the tree and then have a little stand with the baubles behind. I think it's so clever for you to buy. But to be fair, John Lewis are good with stuff like that. So this is like a burnt orange bauble. They were so good quality. Like you can tell the quality of baubles from John Lewis, even though they are a bit more expensive, they're kind of worth it. So it was like quite a very plum and orange base tree. And then they had like quirky bits to go on, like owls and old clocks. And I still don't know what that's called, but they had one of them. But yeah, I absolutely loved this theme. So on the opposite side of the stand, it sort of went into like quite an autumnal range with this like leaf. And they had like squirrel nuts and like all like burnt oranges but these oh my god use like a piece of heaven they had those which had the copper foil in and then they also had the gold foil i wish they'd have had silver foil because oh my god i just so bought them for my tree and then they carried on with like the vintagey aspects and then randomly slotted in the back was a mushroom so i don't know what vibe that tree was actually going for in the end and then these gorgeous little gonk families were so cute. They were literally like up to my waist. And then they carried on with the autumnal owls and more mushrooms and all sorts. So I feel like they tried to go for an autumn tree, but it just didn't work out for them. And then they had these weirdly textured reindeers and bears. They've also gone for like an oriental tree this year, which they called the Art of Japan, but I just called it an oriental tree. With like apples on, mushrooms, koi fish and all things like that. And then they just added random vintage poinsettias. I wasn't sure on the whole vibe but it looked cute with the whole Japanese teapot. So obviously they have the little racks with the bubbles in. And this is a poinsettia again going from like traditional to these. Like, I just don't know whether I'm coming or going. They had this I think that's called a Japanese crane or something like that. I've probably made that up. And then they had sushi and apples. Like honestly John Lewis didn't know what you were doing. And then on the back here, again, traditional with like berry picks, which would be fab for like wreaths and stuff like that. I think they're great. And of course, poinsettias. And then along the back wall, they had the most unexciting range of stockings, I'm not going to lie. I'm usually really impressed, but not this year. So next up was the Renaissance tree, although I think it's more of a glitzy glam girly. That lovely little bug was cute as well. And, like, they had Cinderella carts. It was all very glitty, glam, pinks, gold, you name it, sparkle, haven. And I loved the way they used these, like, gold leafed garlands and hashed them through. I thought that was gorgeous. A lot of people are doing that. Look at that pink apple. So cute. 
and then obviously at the back they had like all the little bits that you can get to accessorize the tree although to be honest with you i did think it was quite empty i think everyone was kind of in panic mode for lockdown so sort of went and hectically bought as many decorations as they could but as you can see there's some fab ones and this was just delightful it was like feathers but with like gold pearls on the end and oh my god it was gorgeous i wish they'd have had it in white i really do it would have been right up my street to be fair though the girly theme has been so popular in every store i've seen to see this year so it's kind of a popular one i also love them they are what they used in the tree and i actually got silver ones of those in work last year and put them in my tree this is the pop art tree although i renamed it the quirky tree because it's so quirky and i feel like my christmas guilty pleasure is actually these quirky random trees i think they're so fun so they had like an art palette they had a digger they had the balloon dogs which by the way i really want one but i don't know where it'd go there's a crayon box there's like neon lights dotted all over it like isn't that just the funnest like randomest thing i feel like i could get away with having one of them in my future house just like kind of hidden i always think the buyers must just have so much fun look at them just like selecting the most randomest things i'd have a ball look at the green dinosaurs and there's microphones unicorns balloon dogs and that one's the pink one and they know they have them in different colors they had lulu guinness lips now that is like designer central a spaceship modern 2020 santa on his segue because that's how he rolls these days i absolutely love it glass ornaments seem popular as well they had a glass blue dinosaur and they also had a glass pink one as well which looked like it had feathers in but it was actually cracked glass it was mad they had this cute little santa which i was debating on getting actually for my candy cane tree round the other side the quirkiness continues they just had everything so bright and beautiful. That ho 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 cloud was a bit more me for my white Christmas tree. The microphones, the globes, which she actually had gorgeous ones in my work, by the way. And um, they were like quite vintagey, the very men's den. Or a cute gift for a world traveller. Then they had these fab rainbows, which I think is so fitting for this year where, you know, 2020 support on the NHS. But I think the ones in Matalan, they're actually donating money from your purchase of rainbows. So I definitely would recommend getting them from there if that is still the case. Then they had the classic tree on an old vintage car. You can't go wrong. Now here is the post-impressionism tree full of tropical vibes, greenery and exotic animals. As well as these gold palm leaves and that fella out of the Lion King, Rahihi or whatever his name is. There's also black panthers, bright ornaments and the famous Tiger King, of course. I really think they've gone all out on this tree, to be honest with you. And God knows why I've just pointed over there, but hey ho. They also had bananas, I think you've just spotted them there. And like peacock bejeweled ornaments too. And this fab dragonfly and gecko lizard whatever they're called but yeah it's clear I don't know the names or anything do I so that's not useful they had them blue feathered ornaments if you just spotted them and they just had greenery and like exotic and that was the most ugliest thing I've ever seen and the touch of it was just not a vibe used like what even is that it was like a ball of weird fabric god knows anyway this is that gecko lizard I think the other thing was a frog so why don't i know the names of anything including joe exotic's famous tiger um and then they had these fab little peacock angels on the end which were quite quirky followed by exotic fruits such as bananas avocado my favorite and pineapple so that was really cute and that guava thing as well i think they put this elephant balloon dog there by accident but hey ho and here is like a botanical 2020 ornament just wrapped in one it was just so fab so the tree i can't say properly is called the art nouveau tree this is basically like architecture and jeweled artistic champagne golds all stuff like that like that is just the vibe now i absolutely love this and do you know what it's been such a popular theme this year with the black and the gold and black and gold baubles have been like so difficult to get like so many people have done like diys just to be able to have black baubles so 2021 best to live now the blue they've added there as you can see was just so fab it's like a proper jewel blue and that against the black and gold and the gold tree is just wow it's just so fab as you can see this area was clearly popular during the weekend and everyone went into lockdown madness just to get these baubles i love that one as well i've just pointed to it was like black and gold leopard print and a champagne flute with gold glitter in 
Also, I've seen so many people on Instagram get these who've been engaged this year, which was obviously lovely to come out of lockdown to people being engaged and to put like a little memento like that on your tree or the champagne bottles is such a good idea. Then we had like Oriental fans again, like what is John Lewis's problem with their Oriental pieces? I don't know. Then the first snow globe I'd seen was this like gold peacocked one, which was quite fab, but for £25, no thank you. Then obviously the gorgeous jewel blues, like what a like, magnificent colour that is, like it's just so fab. Then obviously I'd seen them in white previously and more blue. So here's a few of the crackers, which I thought was so cute that John Lewis have got. £25 though, spenny. Spenny, 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 but you know what? You may as well go all out on the fancy schmancy ones, especially when you'll only be having six people around max for Christmas anyway, and coincidentally, you only get six crackers in them anyway. So, obviously, I needed to know what was in these crackers for £25, and to my disappointment, absolute crap. Like, what even are they, please? Oh, my God, I love these little setups that you've done. These emerged to perfection. They've got all the... Um themes they've gone for a gorgeous wreath garland set up and the tree they've done not a fan of that koala but apart from that and they've put all like little homeware accessories with them which is gorgeous and they've got this art uh, one i can't pronounce that seven name and i swear i'm not going to um then they've got this quirky tree that is brilliant like pop art one i absolutely love that you just put toys in it as well, which is such a good idea. And then all that. And then is like the traditionally Japani corner, which is just stunning. And this white Christmas tree is just stunning. Um, and here's this one, which is very girly renaissance. How pretty is that? Um, I should have actually just said that I've come to the Trafford Centre John Lewis one and I'm just going to add these on at the end. The centre one is actually so fab, the Merchant is so much better than the one in Liverpool I think. I think it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the video there. Hope you enjoyed the John Lewis tour. You will be able to shop online. So as I say, I'll leave as many links as I can below. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you on my next video which will probably be another festive one. So I'll see you later. Bye. And you thought that was going to be the end of the video. So I just wanted to show you this fab write-up in the Echo about John Lewis's Christmas shop in Liverpool that I've actually just showed you. Um, my photographs actually got used in this article, which I was over the moon with, um, to showcase actually John Lewis's 2020 Christmas collection. So these are obviously all the photos, as you can see, but I actually leave the link in the description box below so you can have a read. It's so, so good. And I can't thank the Echo enough for giving me the opportunity to actually feature in it. Um, it was just such a fab opportunity and I was really over the moon. Like, I take so much pride in doing my videos, taking my photos for my Instagram. So yeah, I'm just made up. Make sure you give it a read. As I say, the link is below.